let's start with phase 3 as always we have a located the same one just to remind this box <laughs> how it looks like uh, we know from other tools that this is a call for scanner you can check again with GDB if you want and then we can see the first jump so we are trying to create like a map uh, of the function right now and that's why we are looking for jumps and compare so branching points uh, the first jump is this one so it is compare and uh, ax with one is less or equal we are jumping to hex 1688 and this is a call for export bomb so this is a bad jump uh, if we scroll a little bit more we can see the next interesting jump is just like here um, if it, it's a jump equal to 16 be and if you look at the addresses you can see that it's basically just keeping the export bomb function call and continuing all the way to the return as in the other phases we want to reach the return because when we return we diffuse the bomb meaning we have the flag so let's have a look again at the beginning we know that this is a call, call for uh, to scan f and uh, let's have a look at the parameter that it's being passed with that would be the hex 1660 plus one CAF. So we have a look and it's expecting two digits. So let's start anger now. Uh, the base address for phase three. can be just after the call to scan app because as we know what the function is expecting right now meaning two digits we can start the function here with anger already giving a state with a two symbolic digits so that's what we are going to do for that we start the call just after this can of and our target is as always the return but as we remember the values are being stored by scanf on the stack so we don't want to destroy the stack before we get the flag that's why we just um want to stop anger just right before it uh, destroys our stack frame and this would be here sixteen cc okay and now we create blank state because we don't have any information besides uh, what we uh, the two digits so we have a blank state that it's starting right after we scan f with the data service uh, options off and we need to push the symbolic values into the stack uh, the same way that uh, it's scan f would do we are going to do it ourselves so we can use clarify a bit vector symbolic we can give the name we want like print print flag and our bit vector is 64 bit because of the architecture of our binary. Uh, 
we can have it like this or we can create it in a separate variable um, like this for example and have it uh, separated uh, you can and then pass this variable to your function the way it's uh, easier to read for you is the way you can uh, go and then you start the simulation with this state that it's it was blank with the start address right after the scanf and the only value that it has is the bit vector of 64 bit length in this stack and that's all we have we start the simulation with this state and as we know from the other levels we have defined define it to the target that it's just before the stack frame gets destroyed for returning to the main function we avoid the bomb and let anger do its job so there was a typo there and now we wait anger found one solution uh, as you may remember from uh, looking into the binary before uh, the manipulations happen in 32 uh, bits but we gave the value as a 64 bit in the stack so we just need to separate the low and the high uh, values that we had on the stack yeah. and we can see that we have the first one is zero and the second digit that it's expecting 602 so we can store this into the flag and running it we just use phase one phase two and phase three uh, as a homework please implement a loop adding constraints so you can get all the possible flags if you saw this level before you may remember that there are more than one possibility just have a look again into this switch structure uh, or simply leave, uh, leave it open to anger to give you all the possible solutions um, with iwhile loop or something similar so that's it, phase three.